like to introduce yourself to the Fright Fest fans? Yeah, I'm Rob Grant and I'm the director of Harpoon, which is getting fortunate enough to screen here at Fright Fest. Harpoon? Yeah. Harpoon. Now I've seen this film, but for those who have Don't tell me if you didn't like it. I'll tell you in a minute. Yeah. I'm going to keep you hanging. Okay, the suspense is killing me. Yeah. <laughs> for those who haven't seen it, yeah. tell us a bit about it. Our best pitch is that it's Polanski's Knife in the Water by way of Seinfeld characters. And for those that don't know maybe Knife in the Water, Dead Calm is maybe an, another one. And if you don't know that, then I'm out of boat movies to reference for oh, you. Right. Yeah. Well, to be honest, yeah, that's, that's quite accurate. <laughs> yeah, it's a, you know, three close friends past their uh, friendship prime who are kind of now have deep-seated resentment towards each other, and I thought that would be a perfect situation to throw them into a survival setting with. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you did that really well. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I yeah. do like the film. Thank you. It was incredible. I appreciate that. Um, and it was uh, uh, an Arrow video, is that right? Yeah, Arrow's picked us up. We got lucky enough to uh, be distributed by them. They do awesome work. I like to say they're like the criterion of the like Europe here, and so they, they it's just... To be included with some of the choices that they pick has been really uh, uh, an honor. Well, so. it's, it's really awesome, actually. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's great. Yeah. Um, so it's, it take, can, can I say that it takes place on a boat? Oh, yeah. I can Absolutely. Say that that okay. is not a spoiler. That's not a spoiler. Yeah. Okay, so it takes place on a boat. Yep. Um, how do you go about filming something on such a location? I mean, I grew up in Vancouver, uh, BC, Canada, which is on the West Coast. And I'm, when I'm writing a movie, I'm always thinking, I'm like, shit, if no one gives us money for this, how could we pull this off on our own? And luckily, I have uh, no people that have boats there in Vancouver. In fact, we got stuck out on my buddy's boat in a similar situation that happens in the movie. You actually got stuck yeah, on a, a, in, in, in the ocean. In that situation? Yes. Oh, wow. Uh, not for days, but 12 hours, I'd say. So we didn't get to the point of talking cannibalism, but we, we were stuck out there. But we're not talking cannibalism, are we? We're allowed to. That's I not. Mean, are we allowed to? That's not a spoiler. That's not a spoiler. I think that's when you get stuck out on a boat. Isn't that like the first conversation that comes I suppose, up? Yeah. Who's gonna eat who? Yeah. Yeah. I so. I still. I'm. <laughs> yeah. I had to do a lot of awful research on cannibalism at sea. Oh really? Yeah. You can, you can get away. I didn't realize you could get away with so much. It's kind of kind of gruesome. Wow. Like legally? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. Um, as long as you didn't kill the person first. Apparently, you're allowed to eat their corpse. You won't go to jail. I swear. I'm just going to take a moment. Actually, don't quote me on that, because if you eat someone on the boat, I don't want to get in trouble. Yeah. Anyway, um, <laughs> I just had to take a moment. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, Fright Fest, is this your first time here in Fright Fest? First ever time here. I've heard wonderful things about the festival and the audiences, and so I'm super excited to see how they react to a movie like this on the big screen. I, I can't wait to catch up with you later about that yeah. particular part because every single person who has shown their, their, their film here, they've always been like amazing yeah. reactions. So I'm, I'm going to catch up with you. This one requ and it requires a little bit of audience participation. It's okay to yell at the screen on this one. So oh, yeah. I, was, I was yelling. I'm, I'm excited. I was yelling at this film. I was like, perfect. what? Really? Oh, don't do that. Yeah, perfect. Um, so you've been here since Thursday or Yesterday. Today? Yesterday. I'm recovering from jet lag still. <laughs> Are you and me both? I yeah. understand that one. Yeah, the only thing that's keeping me going is a, a cerveza every now and then. And, yeah. Power through the whole weekend. <laughs> yeah. um, so how are you finding the festival so far? Loving it. Uh, super accommodating. I mean, the lineup to be included with these films. It's just, I, you know, especially for indie cinema, it's important that festivals like these champion the kind of stuff that's being made in these challenging films because that's the only way they can get out there sometimes. And so, I mean, it's, it's super grateful for us to be a, uh, honored to be picked and be included and get to show it to an audience. I mean, I, like I said, I'm from Vancouver, BC, and I get to be here in, in London and show a bunch of people a, a crazy little movie. Well, welcome to Fright Fest. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Are you hanging around for anybody else's movies later? Uh, my producer also has a my, his world premiere here, Spiral. Uh, yeah. And then I, you know, as soon as we... I have to get over the jet lag. What I don't want to do is be that asshole that's falling asleep in the theater. Yeah. So I'm waiting until I know I'm not going to fall asleep, and then I just start watching movies. <laughs> well, yeah. hopefully I'll catch up with you later, Absolutely. and you won't be asleep. No, that will be the goal. <laughs> that will be the goal. That will be the goal. Here. Thank you for having a chat with me. No, thank you. I appreciate Cheers. it. <laughs>